What happens when you're trying to wash your rear windows in a C7 RS6 and no water's coming out? Well, in today's video, we're about to find out. Finger stuff. Ooh, I've got a spider on me. So welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be fixing my rear washer. So I went out last weekend for a little road trip and it's been quite dirty and muddy around here. Um, just generally because of all the, the salt and grit on the roads. So I went to give the rear wipers a wipe and the jets weren't working. So I was, I was pulling the lever, pulling the lever, I could hear the motor running. It was doing that noise, but nothing was coming out. And it suddenly occurred to me, oh, that could be bad. That could be very bad. So usually when you're pulling the washer jet like that and there's nothing coming out, there's one or two reasons either. It's frozen, the nozzles are blocked or the pipe's disconnected and there's water just running out somewhere in your car. Now I have read on some of the forums for the C7 um, variants that the connection can break under the carpets so all the water when you're pulling the, the washer jets just floods underneath the carpets and the passenger footwell so today I'm going to take this back cover off I'm going to have a look at the pipe and connection fingers crossed it's just blocked it's just a blocked pipe at the end and I can fix it dead easily worst case scenario is there's a load of water under the passenger footwell so let's see if we can find out where it's coming from so if you haven't seen my video already, and I know I say this all the time, you need to check it out because these, literally every video I do now, I use these bad boys. They're just perfect for general moving around the shop and the shop. And so I'm in a workshop with the garage. First thing I'm going to do is take off this cover and then hopefully that'll give me access to see the pipe that connects the washer jet to the rear wiper. Five torques, and we dash that. Take it out nice and quick. So I'm going to use some of these trim removal tools. I mentioned them in my last video, but they just help to pry some of the plastic trims off without snapping them. Definitely don't go to town using one of these bad boys because you will snap something. Right, let's give this a go. That's it, bit of force, it's off. There's a couple of wire clips in here, one for the light and one for the catch release. So I'm just going to un unclip these carefully. God, that would be so much easier if I could feel my fingers to push the clips in. All right, well, that's the back off anyway. God. I don't know if any of you guys get this, but I've got crap circulation, so the slightest bit of cold, my fingers go numb, like, instantly, and I can't bloody nip stuff or finger stuff. Sounds a bit wrong. Right, so that's the back off. Let me show you what it's looking like. So if I bring you around here, you can see these are the clips I've just been getting off. It's easy to do when you don't have numb fingers. I couldn't push that down. Couldn't get the feeling to push that down. So that's the one for the boot release or the close button. And then this was the one for the light that took me air just to get off because I had to nip them in. Oh God, my fingers. Anyway, so what I'm looking at under here is the washer jet pipe. So, I think it's this bad boy here that just runs around and goes into there. Now, what I haven't found is any water in here, so there's definitely no leak from here. So what I'm hoping is that there's just a blockage in this pipe here. So when I take this off, this end bit here, I'm just hoping this pipe's blocked here or blocked there. If it's not, that's very bad. That means somewhere in here, there's a puddle of water. Or to be more specific, a puddle of uh, washer fluid. <sighs> I hope it's that. Right, so I'm just in the boot now. And I'm just gonna see if I can get this pipe off. There we go, so just taking off this little metal clip there. 
Is it metal or is it plastic? Plastic. Right. There's water there. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn the ignition on and I'm gonna put the jet on and see if any water comes out here. So you keep an eye and tell me if there's any water out here. If there is, then there's some blockage just in that connection there. If there's not, the problem's elsewhere. Oh, I've got sh trousers now. Oh. Right, I've just raided the recycling bin and I've got a little bottle that I'm going to put the end of here in just in case the water does come flooding out so it doesn't get everywhere dirty. It's a Schweppes slimline tonic bottle because I've been doing dry January, giving my liver a rest. Schweppes. Stick it in there and just wrap a bit of tape around it. Just to keep it in there and then hopefully you guys can see the water as it comes out and confirm that I've got no problem at all, it's just a blocked pipe. My mate Dave had a blocked pipe once. Now we can only go to the toilet sitting down. Right, you let me know if you see any water coming out the back of there. Oh, that sounded promising. Yes, it's not under the carpets. Thank God for that. Right, so that is fantastic news. So let's find out where the blockage is in Dave's, uh, in my pipes. Now I know some of you may be saying, have you checked the little bit that goes on the end? Yes, I have, and I've put the pins in the end and that wasn't the issue. It's a blockage in, in here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the air compressor and I'm just gonna give it a blaster, compressed air, and see if we can blow any of the crap that might be inside out. So, what we're gonna do, ooh, I've got a spider on me. I'm manly really, Jesus. Ooh, I don't know where that come from. Um, right, I'm gonna squirt some marinade and see if we can blow out any crap that might be in it. Right, so what I'm expecting is some crap to have come out of here, but it doesn't look to be a great deal. What I might do is I might try and see if I can blow at one end and feel at the other end. You get what I mean? I'm gonna blow some air in one end and see if I can feel it with my finger at the other end. Right, let's try that first and then if I can't feel anything, I'm gonna to have to roll my sleeves up and take that, this motor bit out and have a little look. Well, hopefully we don't need to do that. Hopefully it's a nice simple fix, just like I knew it was gonna be. No flooded carpets uh, and it's not gonna turn into a nightmare. I can feel it. It's not amazing pressure, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, Connect the pipe again, and then just test the water, test the washer, see if anything comes out. If it doesn't, I'm gonna have to take this little nipple off and give it a good clean. That's what she said. Right, I'm gonna put the washer jet on, and I'm gonna see if any water squirts out this hole. Let me know if we've got a squirter. Is she squirting? Ah, oh, what's happened? Well, I'd say, it. problem solved anyway. Problem solved anyway. Got a bit of mess to clean up though. Okay, so that wasn't too bad of a fix. Oh, there's water all over here. Towel. This is the wife's gym towel, don't tell her. She definitely won't be watching this, so no danger there. Correction, it's not fully fixed yet. I'll get back to you in a second. Ah. Right guys, so I thought we'd fixed it dead easy, but turns out I've either buggered something up or that wasn't the problem. So what is now coming out of this actual unit itself here? See dripping out there. So I don't know when I, if there's been a blockage in there, they just stopped the floor full stop, or whether since I've started putting compressed air in, it's either blown a connection inside of this unit, or I've broken something or what, I don't know. It might have even have a crack in it from the cold, if there's been water stuck in there over winter and it's expanded. Anyway, that easy, simple fix that I got a little bit too confident too soon, out my way, um, means I'm gonna have to take the motor off now and have a proper look. 
Right, come on then. Right guys, I've been struggling to get this rear wiper arm off and I've just had a look on YouTube and a lot of times they can, these can seize on and they can be an absolute pig to get off. So rather than messing around for hours trying to get this off, what I've decided to do is underneath, I've just undone the few little torque screws that hold the back of the rear wiper motor on. So as you can see, I've just taken the back of this motor housing off and underneath, when you look at it, as you can see, it's disgustingly muddy and clogged up. So what I've just had to do is get some engine degreaser and spray it inside of here and inside that nozzle. I've also sprayed a load of engine degreaser down there as well. Um, and I've put the air jet on and I've squirted it. So that's all clean now. There's a nice throughput floor there. So what we just need to do is check that. So I'll check it now actually while I'm here. So. There you go. That's nice and clean now. So I'm going to put this back together and then we'll give it a quick test and see if it's still leaking. If it's not, then we can put the rest of the car back together. Right, there's a really nice clear flow of air through there now, so hopefully Cleaning that up with a degreaser and giving it a good wipe has done the trick. Right, I'll turn the ignition on, I'll do the washer jets, you tell me if that's leaking or not. <sighs> it's still absolutely <laughs> out of there. I think one of the, maybe the rubber seal's gone or something. I'll have to have a look at this. It's coming out of the jets fine and squirted off and it's got all up my wall, as you can see here. Oh, it'll be warm. It's squirted out of there, no bother. But bloody... Can't seem to keep it in there. Right, let's have a look, see if we can fix it. I don't know if it's the seal in here. Just isn't watertight anymore. That could just be the issue. Because that pushes in there. I'm guessing that turns. Yeah, so this turns around. So this bit moves within here, within that bit, so maybe the seal just isn't there anymore, which would probably mean we'd have to buy a whole new motor, but let's have a little look, see if we can fix it. Right guys, I've got a little o-ring here, and I'm just going to put this on there and see if that just helps to seal it and stops it leaking. Well do. Just put this back on, see if it clips in. And if it does with a bit of pressure, it might just help seal that. I'll put a tiny bit of this grease around it as well. So we'll put this back on. And hopefully that O-ring with that grease around will just provide a bit of a watertight seal there and it'll stop it leaking. If it doesn't, I have to buy a new rear wiper unit, about 40 pounds. Not the end of the world, but it would have been nice to have fixed it. But as always, these five, 10 minute quick jobs always end up into like a five hour <laughs> round, don't they? Right, if you guys watch that, let me know if it leaks again. Yeah, it's done the trick, that's perfect. Right, I'm buzzing. Right, let's get this put back together and mop up all this water that's sprayed all over the garage. Nice. Right, so that's all back together now. So it wasn't quite the straightforward fix that we first thought, but we got there in the end with a little bit of ingenuity. Um, hopefully that's done the trick now and we shouldn't have any more problems 
in the near future, but worst case scenario is we can just change that unit for about £40. We've got some really cool videos coming up. In fact, the next big video that's about to drop, we're going to be stripping the whole front end of the car down. Complete bumpers off, headlights out, radiator, coolers off, most of the inside of the engine, not the inside of the engine, but the top of the engine's coming off because we've got some parts that need changing that you have to get right in the bowels of the engine to do. So that's going to be an interesting one, guys. As you know, I'm no trained mechanic, I'm certainly no Audi technician, but we've got loads of tools in here, we've got a little bit of confidence, and we've got some knowledge and research gained from YouTube. So together, we'll give it a go. It could go horrifically wrong, it could be very expensive, but either way, we'll find out together. So until then, guys, I'll see you in the next one.